good morning all uh, myself dr am khan from department of mathematics jodhpur institute of engineering and technology jiet jodhpur today's uh, topic of presentation is integral transforms and its applications friends integral transform is very important topic in uh, sciences and engineering applied as far as uh, sciences and uh, engineering applications integral transform as a name implies as a name implies transforms transforms maps an equation from its original domain into another domain where it might be manipulated and solved much more easily than it in the original domain so as a name implies it transform the signal or a mathematical equation from one domain to another domain where the solution is then mapped back to the original domain using the inverse of the integral transforms <clears throat> so integral transformations have been successfully used for almost two centuries in solving many problems in applied sciences mathematical physics and engineering science historically the origin of the integral transforms include the laplace fourier transforms can be traced back to the celebrated work of ps laplace in century 17th and 18th century on probability theory in the 1780 so let's have a look of the integral transforms history a uh, step by step uh, you might have heard the name fourier is a well known mathematician and he developed the theory of integral transform with the step by step the fourier stated initially the fourier stated a remarkable result that is universally known as the fourier integral theorem he gave a series of examples before stating that arbitrary function defined on a finite interval can be expanded in terms of a trigonometric series which is now universally known as the fourier series so the whole idea the fourier started with the fourier series in which any arbitrary function any arbitrary function defined in a finite interval can be expanded in terms of trigonometric series in further his uh, development that uh, he expand this finite interval here is the finite interval to the infinite interval in an attempt to extend his new idea to functions defined on the infinite interval fourier take one step forward to take this finite interval constraint to infinite interval constraints leads another discovery that is known as a fourier transform and its inverse transforms it may be relevant to point out that laplace transform is essentially a special case of a fourier transform for a class of functions defined on the positive real axis but it is more simple than fourier transform actually it is for the following reasons let's have a look that for what reasons under what reasons that laplace transform is uh, more preferable in the applicative part of the science and engineering that what are the benefits of the laplace transform over the fourier transform let's have a look number 1 first the question of convergence is always a big questions when you do integrate of any function from minus infinity to infinity that function is uh, convergent or give a finite results or not that is a big question so the question of convergence if you are doing in the laplace transform is much less dedicated because if it is exponentially decaying kernel exponential of minus st where real of s is greater than 0 and for time greater than 0 <clears throat> the second benefit of the laplace transform over the fourier transform is that the laplace transform one can deal as a analytical function you know the analytic function is the function is a differentiable 
and not only at the point if uh, this function is analytic this is the analytic function so the laplace transform can be treated as an analytic function means it is a differentiable not only at the point but in the neighborhood of point as per the analytical function definition in a complex variables and it's properly can easily be studied with the knowledge of the theory of the complex variable and the third more benefit of the fourier integral formula provided the definitions of the laplace transform and inverse laplace transform in terms of the complex contour integrals that can be evaluated with the help of cauchy residue theory so friends uh, let's have a look about the basic concepts and definitions of the integral transform so here the mathematical definition of integral transform of any function fx in the interval when the variable defined between e to b and the fourier transform uh, integral transform in general we just uh, brief about the integral transform is defined as a integral of k x k f x d x where k x k is a given function of a two variable x and k and it is known as a kernel of the transform and f x is any known function and this uh, integral is with respect to x with uh, under the limit e to b and <coughs> they we note that uh, at the integral the result of the integral will come in the term of k so that is a image image transform variable the transform function fk is often referred as a image of the given object function fx k is here called transform variable so thus the importance of the integral transform is that transform it is very clear now <clears throat> that the integral transform a difficult mathematical problem to a relative easy problem which can be easily be solved and in the study of initial boundary value problem involving differential equations and the differential operator are replaced by much simpler algebraic equations involving f which can be readily be solved the solution of the original problem is then obtained in the original variables by the inverse transformations so the next basic problem leads to a computation of a inverse integral transform exactly or approximately indeed the laplace transform is an integral transform named after its discoverer p s laplace in 17th century so let's have a look that what are the existence conditions for the laplace transform for a function uh, that must be uh, the existence condition for which under which we can take the laplace transform or the laplace transform is defined the first condition for any function for taking the laplace transform that the function must be piece wise continuous and a second condition that it is must be of exponential order so let we understand let we take that what is this term exponential order that exponential order a on t 0 to infinity if there exist a positive any function is said to be of exponential order a on t 0 to infinity if there exist a positive constant k such that for all t greater than t ft absolute value of ft is less than or equal to capital k e ki power at means absolute ft <coughs> and symbolically we can write ft is order of e raised to at it in another way in a simple word uh, we can say that a function ft is simply called an exponential order as t tends to infinity if it does not grow faster than k e to the power at it doesn't grow faster than k multiplied by e to the power at as t tends to infinity 
Here's the definition, the formal definition of the Laplace transform. The function ft satisfied the above mentioned uh, conditions. Then the Laplace transform of ft be defined as Laplace of ft or fs we can denote it by fs provided this integral exists that 0 to infinity e raised to minus st. The, here is the kernel that is fixed kernel. S and t here are independent ft dt and this integral is with respect to t t variable 0 to infinity <coughs> we have already discussed the sufficient conditions for existence of a laplace transform ft that must be a piecewise continuous function and the function must be of exponential order in another term e raised to alpha t if we can take finite quantity k we have just uh, seen uh, in the earlier slide that k e to the power a t and the function is said to be the absolute value of f t doesn't grow faster than k e to the power alpha t. So let's have a close look over the Laplace transform. The Laplace transform transform a signal from time domain t to complex frequency domain s. So the any time domain signal is converted into the complex frequency domain where s is given here sigma plus j omega s here is a complex variable the complex frequency domain then time domain function converted into the frequency dependent and frequency domain this frequency domain s contain two parts sigma and omega where sigma tells that how fast signal drop in and omega tells what is the oscillation frequency. So S is having a valuable information in the frequency domain that it tells about the time domain signal where the time domain signal doesn't have that type of information where it converted into the frequency domain and frequency domain sigma tells that the signal how fast the signal drop in decaying exponentially and omega is the oscillation frequency. Friends, Laplace transform is a useful tool for dealing with the linear system described by ordinary differential equations. So Laplace transforms basically convert the complex operations into very simple uh, terminology or very simple uh, mathematical descriptions like derivatives d by dt is converted into the multiplication process so derivative process converted into the multiplication process that is a one of the uh, major uh, fruitful things that the Laplace transform can do the derivative complex operator converted into the multiplication operations. Integral operation converted into the division operations and the convolution of a two function converted into the simple multiplications. So these are the three benefits of the Laplace transform that the derivative converted into the multiplication by S integral of ft is converted into the division by s and the convolution of when the two signals convolute the convolution part that is very important than the input signals and uh, the uh, inbuilt system that convolute and create output that is converted into the multiplication of their transformed functions we know that the output yt in the signal processing system that Laplace having a great uh, advantage and great applications in uh, signal processing systems. We know that the output yt of the continuous time LTI system equal the convolution of the input xt with the impulse response ht that is. So that we know that this is the very fundamental information that the output of the continuous time domain that must be equals to the input signal and convolute with the impulse response 
that is a convolutional thing that will be easily transferred to the multiplicative process so this is the multiplicative process so this is the convolution to the multiplications so the laplace converted the convolution part to the multiplicative part as we take the laplace to both side here the importance of the integral transform is that they provide a powerful operational methods for solving initial value problems and initial boundary value problems for a linear differential and integral equation that are arises in various part of the sciences applications physical mathematics and engineering process laplace transform is heavily used in signal processing using laplace or fourier transform you can study the signal in frequency domain the signal in frequency domain you can easily study this can be a powerful tool for instance if your signal is a smooth over time it means that in frequency domain you are very likely to find only small frequencies so so much informations you can collect in another domain that is a frequency domain machine learning focuses on predictions based on known properties learned from the training data the data mining which is analysis step of a knowledge discovery in databases focuses on the discoveries of the unknown properties of data where you can compare this learning process the laplace transform what it does do the laplace transform is used to determine the prediction and to analyze the step of knowledge in database let's have a look with the several other applications in several part of the engineering disciplines like system modeling the laplace transform is used to simplify the calculation in system modeling where the large differential equations are used analysis of electric circuits in electric circuits the laplace transform is used for analysis of a linear time invariant system as you know that we have already discussed that the laplace transforms convert very complex operations into very simple operations in the frequency domain that derivative converted to the multiplication by s and the integral converted the division by s and the convolution converted into the simple multiplicative process so these themes and these uh, objects are very important these uh, hidden things uh, as a powerful which makes a powerful tool uh, that can be used in electric circuits analysis of electronic circuits the laplace transform is widely used by electronic engineering engineers to quickly solve the differential equation occurring in the analysis of electric electronic circuits similarly the digital signal processing one cannot imagine solving digital signal processing problem without employing laplace transform you can see the nuclear physics in order to get the true form of the radioactive decay a laplace transform is used it makes studying analytical part of the nuclear physics possible the process control the laplace transforms are critical for a process control it helps analyze the variable which when altered produces desired manipulation in the result for example while study heat experiments the laplace transform is used to find out to what extent the given input can be altered by changing temperature hence one can alter temperature to get desired output with the help of a laplace transform so this is an efficient and easier way to control process that are guided by the differential equations here are some <coughs> references and hope you have uh, find some valuable informations in uh, integral transform and uh, the applications thank you thank you from my side